Really? That was the first question a Henry County police officer had for Michael Yarbrough on June 20th after pulling him over for speeding in McDonough. Moments later, the officer makes a phone call. Guess who I just pulled over? Hey. Yarborough. Well. Yeah, the chief deputy driving a Dodge Charger, a souped up Dodge Charger belongs to the sheriff's office. I just clocked this 96 in a 35. The officer contemplates writing that citation to the chief deputy of the Henry County Sheriff's Office, who was with another HCSO employee in uniform at the time. Yeah. Why did, what was the issue? I mean, why did you see him? No, no reason. He's in an unmarked car. He just got a high horsepower car and decided he wanted to play. It's your traffic stop. You do what you think you should do. I mean, I, I'm not telling you one way or the other. Do a 96 35. Okay. Well, you know I don't care for him, so I'm going to ride it. That Henry County police officer ultimately issues Yarbrough with a citation for driving 96 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone and sends him on his way. Yeah, if you would sign right here, it's got a court date, time it's a must appear. Please slow down and have a safe day. Criminal defense attorney Kevin Fisher has handled thousands of cases involving traffic offenses. He says it's almost unheard of for a person going triple the speed limit to drive away with just a ticket. I see a lot of cases where the offender is taken right to jail and they're given more than just one ticket. That wasn't the case for Yarbrough, whose citation was reduced to a warning, which Fisher says was equally shocking. I've dealt with uh, the police that have no problem pulling other officers over for DUI. Um, and they're not let go. Henry County Sheriff Reginald Scandrett responded to questions about the stop in a written statement saying Yarbrough notified him immediately and he, quote, suspended the chief deputy for 40 hours for the severity of the traffic citation. Repeated requests for interview with Scandrett and Henry County Police Chief Mark Ammerman about the stop were declined.